Those often hide asbestos and lead like it's an Easter egg hunt, except the eggs can kill you. I remember a job where we started pulling down an old community center. Midway through, one of the guys disturbed some ceiling panels. Next thing we know, white dust is floating everywhere. Asbestos. The building was from 1975, and nobody checked those panels beforehand. We had to stop work immediately, evacuate, and get the hazmat team in. Lesson learned. Always test for asbestos and other hazards first. That's a great example. The age and construction methods of a structure tell us a lot about potential risks. Before demolition, a thorough site review and engineering survey should flag things like, is the concrete reinforced properly or is it brittle? Are there support beams that if removed will cause a collapse? Any modifications over the years that aren't on the original plans? We can't just assume a building that stood for 50 years will behave when we start tearing it down. If anything, age often makes it less predictable. Absolutely. I've seen a wall come down unexpectedly because the water damage had eaten away the brick mortar on a 1940s building. It looks solid, but give it a little vibration and boom, that wall was coming for us. Thankfully, we had cleared the area and were using machinery from a safe distance. But imagine if a worker had been right underneath, it would have been a bad day. That near miss is burned in my memory. Now, I always ask, How's this building been holding up all these years? Any cracks? Sagging floors? Weird bulges? Don't ignore those signs. They're screaming at you. Handle with care. So, rule number one for our listeners. Identify issues related to the building's age, integrity, and construction methods. In practice, that means do your homework on the structure. Check the plans, do a walk around, get an engineer's input if needed, and definitely look for any hazardous materials. If you find something suspect, like, say, piping wrapped in old insulation, assume it's asbestos until proven otherwise. And if something looks structurally unsound, flag it. Better to shore it up or adjust your plan than become the guy in the accident report. Couldn't agree more. Knowledge is power on a demo site. The more you know about the building, the safer you can take it down. All right, 